You know who is hosting tonight? I think it's Fred. I haven't seen Dingo around. Dingo is literally in the server. Oh. <laughs> I love this game. Wait. He was in the server. He was literally playing round one. He got deployed. You were saying TOS things, now I'm banned? Wow, thanks, Dream. Appreciate yes, it. I said all of the gamer words. All of the gamer words. I said all of them. Wow. In a row. Wow. The chat tried to stop me, but they can't do anything. Oh, dear. Uh, where's the stream deck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I actually... I actually... What? There were no gamer words there. I was just talking about pasta. And countries. And I'm sorry. I, I, will, I, I And Virginia. Chad, I apologize. And insolence. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's cover this round. You want to do uh, green four or blue four first? Uh, ah! Pick something. Uh, it's red. There's no red, you fucking... Anyway, blue four. We... <laughs> Blue four. I actually don't know what force they are because they have um, they have AKs and fouls, and PKMs. No PKPs. They have PKPs, fouls, and AKs. I don't. I, and uh, that is weird. I don't know. You are the one who knows military. You say what it is right now. Okay, or don't. They have two static fifty cows. A 50 cow Humvee. Very nice. Very good. They have a mortar. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. They have one. They have one of those. Uh, I can't see this new asset Maz was talking about, so I guess it must be on Green Force side. But uh, yeah, it's the, pretty pretty decent. Pretty pretty decent. Uh, the M2s are not scoped. As for the lineup, you have Mello taking command. I've seen him command a few times. I'm mm -hmm. fairly certain. He does all right. Good. Yeah, uh, Jib, previous commander, now taking the X-Ray Marksman. Mm -hmm. Jonathan leading Alpha with a couple of non-notable names, Bar, uh, Base Bit, and Navy. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's a uh, first RRF taking Alpha 1. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, fouls, it looks like. Yeah, F and yeah. FALs. I said that, man. Did you say you didn't know it, and you were asking me to give the name. No, I, no, I was talking about the... the Okay, we'll get to green four then. I hate you. No, right. I'm not done. I know. After you're done, go. Uh, yes. Uh, Why would Britain use PKMs? I don't question it. AA taking Charlie one. Um, Delta led by Adrian and a bunch of people. I have no clue who they are. I know Beef. I don't know Beef. I just saw him doing something last round, and that's how I know him. Okay. Uh, Pyros Drakensberg. Draken, Zverg, uh, taking Fox Rock 2. I'm really bad at this. Golf is not Bay, Julie, and Jeffrey with Research and Fred taking the uh, mortar. So a clear, distinct lack of any of the big groups or big, big names. Shut uh, but yes, right. you can take Green 4 and okay. I can rest my face. All right. So I'll be just really curious to see how Blue 4 utilize that mortar. It looks like it is a uh, Blue 4 RHS mortar there. So cool to see that. And it looks like Fred is going to be gunning it with research potentially, but they might change that roster up. Anyway, over on the Green 4 side, we have Malin commanding. Huh. He's actually taken it one or twice. Yo, um, to me. What, Malin? I want him to win now. Yeah, he re, he re <laughs> So Scandi Recon is on the side, 4IB is under him, X-Ray only having a medic, uh, no marksman, weird. Hey, uh, he has an M14! What? The medic has... M14s. Ooh. M14s? Yeah, it's a, it's a 762 no, fight. No, that's the new asset right there. <laughs> oh, Sorry. um, yeah, the boat that, uh, the freaking pontoon boat for RHS. Boat. boat. 
That's funny, and they have it already preloaded. So they're uh, they're trying to steer to a navy thing, but that's gonna take like 15 minutes to get over there. But otherwise, continuing down the list, we got UTG here as well. 2600 tackle berry. I forget which group that's a part of, but uh, one uh, RCC as well. What? Zeus Spartans. Zeus Spartans. Thank you. Sam, who is a member of TSB, taking one of the Vicks. DJ broken on the second Vic. Holt and Jonathan are going to be flying the armed Vic. I'm trying to see what it's armed with. It's armed with twin uh, M134 miniguns. Interesting. I think that one also has the camera, too. Yeah, so the co-pilot will be scouting. Charlie, too, has a mix of... Scandi Recon and TSB players with I undertaking the AT again, which is going to be an RPG. Uh, cardboard leading Alpha 2. And he's got uh, some TSB members with some 29th ID guys as well, including Norris. And then 4IB taking Bravo 1 as well. Nice. All right, you want to go over the sectors? Yeah. Weaponry yeah, appears to be... Um, M14 mostly. Is there spawn in a nicely. So a lot of 7.62. Um, I don't know if this is put down or. or I don't this know is uh, part of the map. Oh, it's part of the map. Well, it's a very, very nice um, sort of military outpost research type thing. I think I'm not entirely sure. There's uh, some extra, uh, the green towers that are added yeah. with the flag. Those are, since they're uh, black on the map, that's. Uh... British flag! You good, Chief? God save our queen! They did a nice dragon. custom interior of the uh, command building as well, which is actually Sector 1, which I kind of like. Yes. Uh, anyway, they've uh, obviously got the two green towers on the north and south side. Not really a lot to go for them on the northwestern side Neat. or the southeastern side. They just have a very light, very big pillar. My Seven heartfelt thanks to Christian B. Danielle F. and George Floros. Frankie, thanks for the gift seven. It goes to Hunter. With the creation of Hebon Keep Test. enjoying the operations. So we got a nice law. kick out of this scenario. Everyone loves the law. Okay. Sector 2, meanwhile, uh, we've actually seen this sector before in an op, but it looks like it's had a little bit of a bridge added to it, as well as uh, some defenses on this... Uh, specific area as well this sector was Thanks. used when uh it was um blue four versus op four and both sides had attack helicopters and they oh, uh they yeah. were fighting back and forth so that's nice to see this area used again because it was a good ao and the bridges have been kind of expanded on this section as well and they're not destroyable because they're the solid concrete blocks so that's nice to see i I, I'd like to ask you because you would have, 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 have these castles always have had windows. It doesn't. It seems like they're manually placed on the top. Yes, they've yeah. always had these openings. Uh, the windows oh. themselves, though, yeah, no, yeah, no those are manually so. placed. That's cool. I like windows. That is nice. Yeah, and uh, I think you can open and close those as well. So that is pretty nice. Yeah, I like this area. Mm -hmm. Sector one and two so far have been pretty decently able to hold. Uh, I don't really like defending the western side of sector two, but anything east is pretty good uh looking at the depth of the water on the northern side they could yeah they they, they definitely be able to get trucks or mm. infantry over there without mm -hmm. too much i i think I, mm, I don't know i thought i, rem I recognize this area but i'm not totally sure anyway mm -hmm. sector three sector three is a little bit of a custom path sector on the side oh, i wanted another D -day. and it leads to a beach resort Let's get our martinis on! Oh my Go. god. Get that beach summer bot going. Are you okay? Why do you keep asking this? No, I'm clearly not. You're, I know, but I still have to ask to be nice. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I Obviously, I, I'm very exhausted from Legoland, but now because I've had caffeine and, and I'm doing fun things, I have immediately just shot back up in energy. So don't worry, round three, I'll be quiet and sad. Anyway. Okay. I mean, I don't really have anything else to add here because this AO we've seen uh, actually last week, the uh, the middle ground, which was for one of the scavenger hunt operations. Uh, and then we've seen a little more on the left side that was on another previous op. But I could see Blue 4 holding the resort area because there's a lot of, you know, water on that side. So you just have to hold half of it all reality uh the military base is another good ao because there's a lot of open ground around it though there is some uh rock buildups on the side that green four could charge in and be fine with and then sector two is a small area with the river 
but a lot of territory to watch as well. But I think all three of these sectors are really good. They all have their uh, pros and cons. So it's just yeah, going to be so up to who's defending this side. Just up to what Mello wants to do. Look at it. It seems green for well Marlin's gone for a bit of a duo. He's pushing a good couple of them onto the boats while having the fair, like a fair amount of infantry going on the um the the ground assets and then the, you have the air. It's a very nice mm -hmm. variation of stuff. Obviously the Hellcat having the two miniguns on the side, which have probably mm -hmm. been what do you think they are? Um what, you mean the one three mean, fours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah those are um Oh, why am I blanking on what a one, three, four fires? Five, five, six, right? Probably. That would make sense. That or especially twelve point. With the, um, especially with the guns they have. No, it would be twelve point seven. Yeah. No. Fuck. Seven six two. It's seven six two. All right. Well, let's just yeah. Let's just meet in the middle. Five, five, yeah. Six, chat. 12, yeah. Seven, seven, seven six, six two. two. There you go. It's meet seven six two. All right. Cool. Uh, so that will be a. I think. I think it's a really nice variation of you know ground sea and sky mm -hmm. and if they can make them all work in unison green folk could you know potentially absolutely tear apart mm -hmm. how the... would you play this if you were green folk i probably wouldn't do anything naval i'd keep it ground focused maybe a wide flank to the south uh trying to get away from blue force line the issue with that is there's a lot of open territory mm. But I could also see Blue Four just taking the bridges and holding those as choke points. So I, I think Green Four just needs to keep everything together, use their air asset for a recon because it does have a camera, and just go from there, you know? Yes. Blue Four, on the other hand, obviously they have two sectors closer to the uh, ocean mm -hmm. and then one sector to uh, the pretty much yeah you know they're all pretty close to each other uh personally i would probably go for a back cap from the sea i'd send the um i'd send the uh hi the hind over to sector three to give it a scout and then maybe come in from the lighthouse uh maybe take position up in there or just come in straight from sector three but i don't right oh larry so i'll make sure it's done we'll um after bleach boys ops i'll do some dev for it i'd still be though, and we'll keep it fun. going thank you so much man i do appreciate it hope you keep enjoying everything hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario seriously man thanks so much i don't like when you go silent sorry i was um the fallout thing got filled oh very jesus Christ. so um what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna finish all of EU. I'm gonna do NA uh, one, maybe two. Then I got Bleach Boys at ten, and then we'll um, just dev that in real time. Yo, when did you say you planned it for? Not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, uh, six thirty to nine. I'll make an announcement about it uh, when I have the mission done because I have to uh, get the lore out too because I want to make a few rules because power armor, for example, is incredibly overpowered in uh, that mod. Oh. So I have to uh, blacklist that, but everything else will be fair game. I just want to kind of set up the background for everything, if that makes any I sense. Keep my Wednesday free. All right, cool. And then I will forget and tell you on the Wednesday. Yeah, right? So I love how the uh, the previous round we had over 100,000 points on uh, either side. Now we're getting about a bit under 250,000. Uh, appears to be... <laughs> Blue 4 is also the underdog again as a defender. People focusing on Green 4. I would only assume that's because of Scandi Recon on Green 4. So I'm interested here. Um, far south of the map, you have Not Bay. Well, you have Golf Squad mm -hmm. running each other over, uh, knocking Not Bay to the ground, but also probably planning to go really far south and then push north and maybe just take them from behind or actually. Yeah, there I'm too happy. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to know what the actual uh, X-ray are doing, and they are mounting a rock. Hmm. So I could see that Vic uh, riding the southern side to try to harass any green form movement, but with the openness of the gunner, who's driving it? Uh, Bay is, and they're having dually gun. All right. So. 
I'm interested, what do you think Green Four are gonna do? Do you think they're gonna push straight down this road, go right, and then take on Scepter 1 and 2 in the same time? Yeah, based off of how many people are putting in these VIX, I mean, X-Ray is going to take uh, an RHIB, I guess, to do recon from the water, but they're gonna do a, uh, a ground push. That's for certain. So they actually, and I'm sure Maz will not be very happy about this, they are not mm. using the new asset, but then again, I don't... You know, I they they took it out of the new asset. I mean, I in his uh, in my defense for them, I agree because it's gonna take way too yeah. long. Now this gives me ideas. I'll probably like just bane out two or three missions and then talk with someone about how to uh, put the proper files in the mission so I can get the right factions. But um, I'd love to do something with those pontoon boats. Maybe a mass. Just okay. So they're sticking Scandi Recon into the boats, which I think is a pretty. Hmm. A decent idea because a Scandi, a Scandi assault from the water could actually be beneficial if they're able to. Yeah, get it's off it's get very out. risky though because that's a lot of open area to get up to the beach and you don't know if Blue Four is going to fortify that spot or not. You know, mission starts. So, so they have stuck quite a few people, and they have they have decent range as well. Uh, you can actually see the broken lighthouse. Mm -hmm. One thing I forgot to mention, the uh, two off-roads have holographic sights on the 50 cals. That's good. Hotel are flying off. Yeah, a bit more accuracy with they it. Actually, so, Green Fort have actually just pushed straight south. Yep. I, I figured they're going to just try to get around. They're going to run south right Fort into Fort Blue Force Scout Vic, though. But with all of those off-roads being soft skin, I'm wondering how much damage that uh, Humvee is going to be able to do well, if, as long as it's not spotted by error immediately. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that air could be in a dangerous position if if they if uh, they do get into a fight, because that 50 cal will do some damage. Yeah, I think the driver just noticed it. Let's see if the gunner turns out. Nope, they're just holding to try yeah, to uh, stay still. Oh, Severe's jumping on. Nice. Oh, sweet. Hello. So Gunner has now gotten out. They're tracking it, but this is going to allow Green Force some more time to deploy. They might be able to slip away without nice. the Humvee noticing. Look at how quick they're going on these MS... Um, nope, SSRs, because there's a solid yellow line well, in the, the sail. The, what, what they get the pluses for the off-roaders is that they're so fast. Yeah. Um, this blue fort team are just hugging this edge, but yeah, no, they're gonna hug the edge and go all the way around. If they were to turn inward now, they'd catch them all out. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised they don't have someone, like they could have deployed the one guy in the shotgun seat to yeah. just watch this open field and he would have still been able to communicate with them. So he might be able to catch the, oh God, they're driving the pontoon Vic and God. Bert just wanted it, but these guys might get engaged by the Humvee if the Humvee... What? So here they go crossing the bridge. Uh, X-Ray going to take notice of that. Doesn't seem like any of them have actually seen it. Yeah. Jib may have. Yeah, I think Jib's noticed them. No, he hasn't. Oh, oh, no. What a shame. Go look at Jib. I think you can hear them very slightly. Yep, so Green 4 now taking a right. They're going to go south to north on these objectives. So I think they're going to deploy right behind Sector 2 towards the west. Go in and take that, then hit Sector 1, and then hit Sector 3. But Blue 4 has a pretty nice defense around Sector 3, so that'll be tough. All right, my favorite part of the first five minutes of any mission. Mm -hmm. Has anyone died yet? <laughs> has anyone died any technical difficulties like last time? It looks like Bay did not run duly over this time. Very so. good. Very good. So looking no, at... No, Green 4 is going to sneak all the way around. They're going to go for Sector 3 first. Oh, nope. I stand correct. They're dismounting right on top of uh, Blue 4's identification symbol. So, yeah, Hotel's flying around just trying to look at um, Sector 3, probably for the boat team coming in. X-Ray have actually... X-Ray did what I said they do. They, they, they've dismounted at the lighthouse. And if they can run distraction, then that will leave Charlie 2, who I can only imagine are going to push as far along the coast as they possibly can. Was the lighthouse the demoed? Or no, did it, it start like that? Demoed. Okay. Like that. I don't think Green 4 knew that, though, because I think that was part of their plan to get there to do recon, but with that uh, tall tower down, Green 4 
nope, they're going for Sector 3 first. Look at where the RHIBs are going to deploy from. And look at where the rest of the force is from. They've done a strong arm, weak arm attack. With the strong arm being on the ground, the weak arm being the four boats. <laughs> this is well, not how I expected this AO to play to out. Run, you've seen who's in the boats, right? Yep, Scandi. But Marksman now firing on Blue 4 here. Why are they letting the, the, the assaults fire? You have a marksman whose job it is to fire. Maybe as a distraction to pull some eyes away from Blue Force's current defense positions, maybe make them think they're going for another sector, because this is a very massive push here. Certainly not how I expected this one to play out. So the Blue Four or not Bay's um, Humvee have just completely, <laughs> they are just behind. Mm -hmm. They have completely missed everything and but it's That's funny. Oh my god, this is a huge like I look towards it and the frames go down. Yeah. This was Malin commanding right, yeah, I'm not surprised. But he knows how to handle these situations, yeah. and I think Green Four is gonna get a really good steamroll here, but so have a look at um the boat they are holding i think they're yeah, five for minutes and they're already fully deployed attacking so that they can just sneak in from mm. the rear smart i'm looking at it now and the way they're pointing indicates that they're they're gonna go for a straight beach or so not mm -hmm. straight at the um thing but they'll land quite close to it the one thing that concerns me though is look at where blue force mortar is placed uh, right next to Green Force line, so if Blue Force starts shelling that, they're going to be able to range oh their own God, shots, I and they could potentially that. annihilate this entire attack. They would. They would act like even one splash would take out a good three or four dudes. So if they're if if Blue Force are able to spot them now, mm -hmm. it will just crush them. So has the marksman got any kills yet? He's been firing for a while. He has got none. He's got accurate rounds going out there. Oh, shots oh. rain out. Yep, green for a firing. Surely now Fred is a smart man. Fred is a smart man. They're digging a trench. They're, I think, going to fortify that position. Fred tilted sideways. All I want to see is Fred just turn right up. <laughs> so, Fred, the last time Fred used a mortar, I thought he was AFK mm -hmm. because the mortars were so bad, mm -hmm. I never actually saw them land. Mm -hmm. And he's been wanting to get, you know, he's wanted to prove himself ever since that day. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure he will be working at 10 times as hard here. Wow, Green 4 is actually being really hard on this advance. Surprised Ooh, we're not seeing the mortar. Of course it is King. Yep, it's uh, Papega Pirates leading the charge. King has just run up and he's now taking three dudes. dudes. He's taking on an enemy. And he's down. <laughs> well, he only has himself to blame for that. Oh, Guy Fury oh, coming mortar, up to back him up. Mortar. Yep. Oh, I think that's definitely a bit too short there. Yep. But they're going to be able to adjust their own shots. There's a short. Helicopter attacking Foxtrot. So Bloodwing's freaking out in the background because they just replaced the central section of our couch downstairs. King woke up. He got attacked by Dokta there, but uh, apparently the replacement part also allows for the other parts connected to it to recline now. Oh, my God. Oh. Apparently it always existed, but we had to get the central part replaced because there was a big tear in it when they delivered it. But all right, next mortar. Bloodwing okay. Yeah, she's just freaking out over it. Uh, this one falling a little too short as well, further than the last one. Yeah, I mean, they're they're showing some good adjustment, though. But I this has forced all of Greenford to now fold off of that section. 
So if they can communicate with another asset when Green Force starts attacking again, they can they can get close. Green Force will know that every mortar they fire is a mortar that can land on their heads, and they'll be getting close with everyone that's missed. King woke up again and then just got tapped for a third time by Dota and Jesus Papa. Christ. He's committed. The, the thing is, Fred is Fred is guiding his own shots right now because mm -hmm. I feel like Delta and Delta, like you know, the Delta squad up there. Bay, Jeffrey, able. and Dooley dismounting. They're gonna get behind four IB on the back line. Oh, here we go. The uh, boat squad actually going. Boat squad's coming in. Yeah, they're they're hugging the line. Oh, another more going out. This one looks like it might be better. Oh, is that on top of Alpha 2? It might be. Thought I saw the line. No, it's going further right. It's, going it's almost Ooh. a team kill. Oh, no, not team kill. That's, I forgot. It was close to friendlies, though. They are so advanced green four that I thought they were friendly. <laughs> no, Malin's been doing a really good job of forcing these guys to advance. It's just there's some holes in the line here, some blue four forces in the middle, and I think they're trying to address it. But Adrian gonna tap cardboard here as Val runs up right into Adrian's fire, and yep. both of them are taken out. Fred not currently sitting on it right now. Obviously he doesn't want to waste too much of his HP before research getting in the truck. Possibly gonna possibly sending research to do some reconnaissance. So there's four there. recliner seats on it. Three, okay. That's what I do. You have three, three guys here. Send one of them to do reconnaissance. Cats, uh, excuse me, blood wing salty because the reclining seat that we didn't know about. Why? Why is that a salty like? You could yes, you could have you could have had your drink there all this time. Now you know, okay, boo. <laughs> She's really mad. Don't tell her I laughed. She says she feels robbed. Oh no, I'm so sorry, by the way. You must feel so bad. It's kind of funny, though. It is kind of funny. <laughs> it, it is fun to watch her get all frazzled, to be honest. Getting frazzled over a chair. Yeah. You didn't hear that from me, though. That's okay. I'll tell her you said that later. No, please don't. Uh, please ask Dream, my co-host. He'll tell you. Anyway, uh, scan your recon has made ground fall here, landfall, whatever term you want to use. Still seeing a little bit of confusion on the movement by the rest of Green Force Force, though. I, uh, so uh, it seems Fred finally had a smart idea. He sent Medin in to do some recon. Nice. And then they'll be able to communicate because uh, they're on the same short range. Or Medin will get caught out by 4 IB. Ooh, Carlson getting caught out right now and taken out by Blue 4. So the Charlie 2 group have landed a bit too far down, if like if, if I'm gonna say, but you know. Mm. Well, they, they did that for security, Golfic, sorry. Golfic has come up behind him and is now firing down to the soft skin Golfic. Yep, they brought the Vic up on 4IB's previous position. So they've managed to sort of escape and evade. Bay's gotten a kill from it. Yeah, 50 got him, but Jeffrey up there got picked off by 4IB. Yep, driver and gunner are down on that Vic. No, it's just, it's just, yeah, it was, it was just gunner. I think they No, driver's dead too. Oh yeah, I know the driver's dead, but you said driver and gunner are down. Okay, but, that, okay, yep. So Medin is currently running, I think, to do uh, recon right now. Melon's about to get walked on by 4IB. About to get clapped by 4IB. I, I think the tree just saved him. Smith might, no, nope, Smith noticed. Smith saw him. Melden and heard Melden that thunk. He's not looking around. Oh no. He hit the rock, Smith's trying to return fire. He's got to be careful. He's got limited ammo in that magazine. Ooh. Melden taps his ass. Banks doesn't know where he is. Barton doesn't know where he is. Well, Barton probably knows the general direction where he is. Banks, I don't think he's paying attention at all. Barton now advancing. Is Barton... Oh. Nope. Ooh. Oh. If only Banks was paying attention. Oh my God. 
Oh, we got green on green going on. Where? Uh, oh, look more. Very good. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, uh, I love it. Oh, Banks turned around. Oh, I think he just caught med in. Yep. Oh. Ouch. Oh, I think that's, uh, I think Fred probably heard that over radio, uh, hearing him get clapped, so he might just send a couple mortars over there. Charlie 2 advancing, but now getting absolutely just Yep, fired. RPG landing a little short of Navy's building. So this huge force has been stopped by Golf and Bravo 1, it seems. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I mean, I, this is the last Bravo 1 guy. A couple of there days. it goes. So this means Charlie 2 has to go back to support. If Yanni at the rear with a, with, you know, a larger force of multiple guys at the back, I can only imagine you have to have the AT man and a rifleman at the back. Okay, I thought it would, they'd, they'd stick their MG at the back. Ooh, Moo taking out Solopole. It does look like a good vacation spot in all honesty. You, the, the pontoon boat still being driven up by Eric uh, Kiru. Oh, it's, it's being driven by Eric now. Yep. They they but want it, was, it. But it was being driven by what's what's his name before? Hole. Oh. Oh, Just Holt. checking the off road. Hole, I'm sorry. Holt, uh, Holt might be dead. No, Holt, Holt's still alive. Guess they traded it off. I guess Eric took it. Big man. Oh, Eric actually drove up to the um, dead golf and has now gone back in the pontoon. Not Bay and Julie have actually abandoned their Humvee. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I just heard a mine go off to the north. Uh, tripwire flare going off too. Yep, Charlie 2 firing off, uh, alerting those tripwire flares. A little late that for probably, alerts, but. I know, but so that's probably the first like semi useful because now this entire group know that they are that close. Yep. Eander is actually down now. He was caught out of the make up the ground. He wakes back up, but he's getting, still getting, getting sprayed again, but he's going to roll into cover. I think he's rolled a bit too far here. Adrian and Tegart are now firing on a green four group, trying to come around. Ooh, a flare right on him. Actually blinding them. GL returns fire, knocks Taggart out. He gets double tapped by some bullets. Adrian forced to pull back. As he's getting shot from multiple different directions. The last Bravo one guy is finally taken out here. Yeah. Emu is unconscious. Blue 4 X ray are now making their push around on the rear. They could do some damage to golf. Blue 4. Only Bay. Helicopter just laid some dudes alive. over there. Slagging behind. No, he's going, I think he's going back to the other Yeah, he's going back to the other Bay jumps on the gun. Ooh! And it's Charlie 2 squad, from what I'm looking at. Infidel and Nimia. Oh, is this more blue on blue? Who got in the 50 cal down here? No, not Baze on the, uh, on the Vic. Yeah, not Baze on the, uh, Vic, but it's now being shot at by... I'm totally sure he's being shot at by. Not Bay had one kill. He's at zero now, so he friendly fired someone sometime. <laughs> Yanni's fighting gets taken Who out was by smacking Jinx. me with something. As far as in, Nemesis caught out as well. Gets mm. to cover. The rest of Scandar Eagle are now making their push. Nemesis is running down. Nemesis getting the tap, making the body fly. Woods trying to run up the save, runs right into a grenade, ends up on top of the trench, and then picked up by Nemesis. Yeah, he got, he got what? He, he just got, got knocked onto the trench by the grenade. Oh! You can sometimes just clip onto the top of it. He basically did that. About to breach in, firing up with the That was pretty window. funny. Doesn't know base is just sitting in the corner. Sitting in the deli aisle.
Yeah, he's going to be bandaging now. I think Sector 3 will be able to weather this attack, but only if they keep their sector straight, you know? I think Green 4 don't have the cohesion or ability to take Sector 1 or 2. I think they put all their ducks in a row to Sector 3 and have lost so much manpower. Yeah, it, this could still swing either way with the amount of people that are still up, but it's all about how the groups are going to bounce uh, through this. So mainly for Green 4, how, do, how are they going to go from this sector to the other two sectors? Because there's a decent chunk of defenders still at both. Nafs has gotten on the roof, trying to tap Arpex. Nemesis also flanking, ends up getting the kill. Oof. That was his third. Oh, Falcon's running up. He doesn't notice the grenade behind him. Bad Frags runs right into the grenade. Crawls to the other grenade. Base bit is just sitting in the Grenades only make him stronger. There's a sector officially captured because Vaspir ran out. Nas knows there's someone nearby, but lay, he lays down. Ooh, Falcon getting topped by Jonathan. Nemesis fishing, finishing off the guy in that building. Base healing. Maz is about to make a run across. Might get spotted by base here. And he will. His base going to take the shot. He does. Cripples Maz. Look at Maz dodging. <laughs> Holy fuck. What the fuck was that? And then Maz is taken down. <laughs> what? What oh the God. actual fuck? Arc chance. That was incredible. I think Nas must have heard him. Jesus, the quick trigger finger. That's Nemesis's fifth kill, I think. Yeah. yeah. Arc just kind of walking around, just not really sure what to do at the moment. He might get caught by Nas. Now such a healing Maz, like once you get Nas, you destroyed by base. No, like, no, dude, around. he dodged like all of those shots. It was great. Yeah, so dodge all the bullets, fire back, and then Nas finish him <laughs> off. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm, I'm actually surprised that Arkchamp managed to walk, just, just walk into the, into the AO and into a building without being shot once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because who killed me was the uh, one of the guys, Jing. Yeah. Nemesis oh. is getting another. Six kills. There's the double tap. Quick trigger finger tonight. The M14s have full auto, don't they? No. They do. Nemesis is not that quick on his finger. Yeah, they have full auto. Okay. Sorry, they look like the classic ones from uh, Livonia. And I know those don't have full, so I was like, hmm. Nemesis is not that fast. He's just that good. I think you're thinking of the hunting rifle. Yeah. yeah Ooh, oh my god, oh my god Nemesis. Mortars are landing now in this area. They're scuttling it. That was a pretty good mortar, actually. Well, so now Maz, who we just yeah, saw get killed, jumped up here because he also co commentates, but he made oh, this mission. You missed it. On the entire Green Four push, they started firing mortars, and loads of them were sure. I think I know about. I think I only fired two, and two of them were short. But yep. if they had like been a bit further, they would have actually decimated your entire team. Yeah, that sounds right. Our oh, peeks, uh, peeks out and gets destroyed by. Nerfs. What the fuck just happened to that body? Sector three is officially captured, but as I said before, Green Four do not have the manpower to take two and one. Oh yeah, you like the castle I built at the uh, sector two? Yeah, I do actually. I yeah. do like that. I, like so I, I didn't build the entire castle. I just built the towers uh, to the what was that, northeast. I, I like how you filled it and added the windows. Uh, so there's only one way up and down. Did, they, did you see what they did with your new brand spanking new asset? No. <laughs> they just drove it up the road. <laughs> they just drove it up the road. It's great.
You know, I, I think Green 4 has the manpower to overpower these other two areas. Blue 4 seems a little too scattered. Just realize Marlin is actually dead. So, and, and Mellow is also dead. Seems uh, Blue 4 and Green 4 have been going off their mm -hmm. own sort of ideas for now, which I think is why Green 4 looked quite shaky. Mm -hmm. I like how we're seeing uh, green for some. A lot are going to Sector 1, but a few are going to Sector 2. Norris and Rudd. The easiest one to capture right now is Sector 1. More mortars going on Sector 3. Yeah. See, this makes me want to do like a neutral sector mission, but each side has three mortars. That would be cool. <laughs> And funny. That would be pretty funny, because the mortars are never used effectively anyway, except the one mission I remember. So oh, we'll call God. it uh, artillery that. only. That was just me screaming. Oh, I, I think some guy just got really unlucky. Mm. 26 might have just got really unlucky, just got picked off by a random spray of fire. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, Blue 4 have some good units still defending these AOs, but... <laughs> Not bad back for one, which means he got another kill. But, you know, he still did Damn. kill a friend. Yeah, mortar technicals. That would actually be really cool. I can take my father's artillery idea that I've been meaning to run as, like, a Vietnam thing and instead apply it to F and F. Ooh, and Alpha 2 take up the Great first job defender. by Norris. Yeah, of the, uh, of the Sector 2. He's on four kills himself. And here comes the push by Green 4, pushing over the bay, the bay, the, the river. And they'll probably summon their entrance. They can't scale these walls unless they climb on top of their friends, but that will leave, obviously leave some of them out. And there is actually, there's two entrances. So use a death charge on the wall to breach. Nice. Did it work? Oh, it did. Yes. That's actually Chad. Uh, I wonder how a hotel are doing right now. Hotel, no kills for hotel. If Mike goes on the roof or looks out any window facing. Yeah, he would see him. Yeah. A random tree just got taken out by a uh, smoke grenade. Smoke grenade uh, <laughs> underbarrel GL. The wall next to it got taken out. Smoking what kills. What the fuck? Guns. Smoking kills. <laughs> Green four uses explosive charge to break a hole in the wall. Blue four. <laughs> smoke grenade go. Smoke grenade go. Tss. Sector two is going to be a little more of a in clear fight, but. I think Sector 1's going to get hit I pretty hard. You know what? Right I take it back. If Green 4... Yeah. 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 Green 4 have lost no one on the Sector take, so now I genuinely think... There's no is... one in the Sector itself. This is it. I think I actually... I take it back. Yeah, no. Blue 4 have actually pulled this out. Uh, Green 4 have actually pulled out their ass somehow. It, it was just a matter of if the Mortar got some good shots in, and even though it was close, it, it did not, unfortunately. Hearing some more mortars land, but they're... See, if that was called in like three minutes ago, that would have gotten some good kills, but Green 4 is already folding into the AO. I think, I think Blue 4 now knows. Mm -hmm. I, I, these towers are not good for, for holding in. Mm. One nade or a, or a GL is, is enough to cripple them. <laughs> Ooh so with the last bullet. Part of that tower is invincible. Mm -hmm. The uh, west side is not invincible because it it's the base mm -hmm. castle that was there. So if that I don't know, yeah, that western side can collapse, and then 
Oh, oh, Greg and Olaf will be stuck in the other one. Not Bay and Julie rushing back, coming to, to help, but get caught out immediately by DJ. God, that gets taken out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Barton gets attacked by Commander Pickles on the tower. Good coverage there by Green Four. Now Blue Four is folding everything they can to hold a last minute defense. Huh. They have the time. Green Four has lost all the momentum. Mm. Oh, Fred and Resurge are now here. Coming in behind. And Fred. Yep. Resurge trying to flank around on the right. Might be able to get Banks. Grenades thrown over. Banks checking a window. And Resurge finds him. Look at Rudd, though, coming up the tower. Oh, oh they're going to run down right into Rudd. Rudd oh. missed all of his shots. Throws a grenade as Patriot vaults into him. Did the nade land? <laughs> right into Leia's face. How Rudd is dead, though. That? Oh, Research is dead. Norris yep, is Norris got him because Research breached on him. Is Leia a medic? I cannot tell. I don't think so. Dooley's a manic, though. Now you have the helicopter coming in with seven people redeploying. Patriot got wake up checked, and because he failed it, he, he just ragged all off the fucking tower and died. Yeah. And Leia threw a grenade and it went right on him anyway. Oh my god. Uh, I got a perfect shot of that. Yeah. That's brilliant. I got a really good view of that. I didn't that. AT going into that tower. I think Damn. Green 4 has the manpower. You got Nemesis, who's been another heavy hitter today on 7. Norris on 6. How many rounds do they have, Maz? Uh, they have 1,886. Yeah, they probably use the rest of them. What gun does Norris have? Oh, he only has... If, if Norris had the MG, he wins. So, the, the, the remaining blue four have actually managed to keep the remaining green four just completely, like, under wraps. Oh, you have Norris peeking around. Who's going to see Julie here? Oh! Did he just one tap him? Yeah, he yes, did he did. Seven him. kills for Norris. That was a beautiful shot. Olaf and Legs have just shut all the windows, bar one, just not wanting anyone to fire any GLs or nades in. I will say they actually have little slots underneath the windows that they can look through too. Mm -hmm. Can they? Can that like that, that helicopter can't pen, can it? No, because it's only uh, 762. Ooh! Holy what shit! What was that? That was a, a nemesis shot of fucking rocket. Where is nemesis? Was it nemesis? No, it's nefs. That's oh another one! They're both dead! Pull down. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> That's crazy. He shot it through the thing. Oh my god. Oh, oh and Greg failed the wake up check. Pickles is panicking here. It seems like he knows that the is going out. If he's closing, go the, closing the covers. You can actually see the penetration on the other side too. Wow. Leia just tried to whiff an AT shot into the helicopter. An AT from Foxtrot 1 and Green 4 comes in. <laughs> I think Nafs got picked off. Yeah, by uh, Blue 4 behind him. Oh, too bad the conveyor's not on. That'd be funny. Doc was coming in with his big gun. I don't know where he went. Uh, Green 4's got it pretty much surrounded now. Sacrifying jails. Oh, yeah. 
Nemesis is getting suppressed. They're firing under that little window. About to enter the 15-minute mark. I, I think Green Four's got this, unfortunately. Yeah, Greg's still down. Olaf, Lear, and Pickles. Pickles not in the best place, and I think he also just naded himself. Hmm. Yeah, here come more nades. Gazag and Tackle by him, but Gazag actually doesn't have his gun out right now. He's got his handgun out because he might be out of ammo for his machine gun. <laughs> There we go. They figured out enhanced movement. Huh. Blue four is outnumbered like four or five to one, and the helicopter is now landing to pick more people up to ferry them in. Uh, Gazag and oh my Gazag. God, Gazag! There's 15 minutes. Now, as long as there's green four people in sector two, technically overtime will be called as well. I'm surprised Good. Olaf hasn't tried to wake Greg up. Oh, he's not a medic, and there's, there's genuinely yeah. no. Yeah. And there oh, we oh, go. And he did. So blue four firing from the rear. This is X-ray folding in. Helicopters just flaring overhead. Ooh, Pink Pingus is battle, but he went down to the four and blue four on the rear. Down. It is just Olaf in a sea of green four. They have X ray nearby, but as Pepit slowly starts to walk up the tower. Oh no, it's a different tower. Tackle Bear is going to go in with a 240 Bravo. He's going to get shot as soon as he walks in. Oh. I have to say, Olaf better not miss all of those shots because that's a top down headshot. So, Olaf has actually got a really nice angle on anyone who comes in, but that smoke has now just kind of ruined that for him. Why would he did throw he, a smoke? Did there? he throw that? He threw that. He Why oh. would he throw that? I don't know. I guess it gives time for Swan to come back in, and Swan's about to rejoin the area. Nice catch Nemesis out. They just team killed. Yes, they, they did. Kill. Ash just killed. Was that tackle? No, that was someone else. Very good. Nate's going over from Swan. Oh, Chopper just got hit by AT. It's going down. Oh, is he going to make it? No. Swan re entering the AO. So actually, he DC'd. He wasn't team killed. Oh. That was Lolo, I think. Oh, if Swan breaches, he could get these guys in the rear and they could actually wrestle control back of the AO for a minute. He's in the AO. Yep. Honestly, he could hide in that little burnout building. Mm-hmm. Olaf is just holding this one angle. And he's got a PKP as well, which just makes it all that much easier. Jesus! Oh. That was a bit of a choke. Jesus. He died. Did Skip fall out the tower? No, he ran down the tower, got shot at by Swan, and then Swan ran out of ammo and Skip just like triple tapped him. Very good. That's just back to Olaf. I'm surprised Nemesis hasn't been the one to enter yet. He's reserve. He's letting the other people have some fun. Ash did team kill someone. Oh, so he did kill him. Yeah, he did kill him. When you look at his body, he's holding the gun, so I thought he was a DC. So he's <laughs> they're lifting Tackle out of there. Who? Tackle. The one who's down. No, no, no. I said, ooh, because they're, they're uh, rubber banding for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was a rubber band for a second. Ash hasn't made entry. I thought Ash made entry, but he went on the side. Oh, Ash has made entry. Oh, it's just two, yeah. like, bit one things like that. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Nem, Nem got tired of waiting. He's now running for it. 
All off doing a quick reload, but Nem decides to end it. Eight kills for Nemesis there. He went mental. That was great. Bazooka running in. And they can't even kill Bazooka. There we go. There's everyone down. That was... That's pretty funny. That was 